everybody, Tom and Beth Townsend with Townsend Realty Group and Keller Williams coming to you. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> We're outside of a house that we actually have listed and we just sold. A unique situation here. Uh, our seller in the middle of the transaction fell ill and is unable to take care of all of his personal property that he has left over in the prop in the house itself. So we're kind of we're walking through. We're going to take a look and see exactly what he has remaining here, and then bring in services to be able to clean out the house uh, to make sure that the buyers, the brand new buyers, have got a nice clean home that they're actually moving into. So what we're doing right now, this is a great example of um, some of the unique situations that we run up against, and how we actually come in and help our clients out. So let's go ahead and see what we've got going on inside, and um, we'll go from there. Follow me. All right, so we saw all these boxes in the hallway and we've got to figure out what to do with those. We'll have to get a company to do that. Okay, or we need to check with the homeowner and see if that's something they're still taking maybe? maybe we're gonna check It's with hard to say. Stuff, okay, okay, yeah, got it. Ask them about the boxes in the hallway. Yep, got it. Um, right. Let's walk into the... All right, so we've got the kitchen and the family room here. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to have to figure out what to do with all this personal property. He's got a lot of things that don't have any value to anybody else except for himself. So, um, okay. we're going to have to find out what he wants to do with all that. As far as the furniture are concerned, he's got some really big pieces still left over in the dining room. Oh my gosh, look at that. And we're going to have to find out if he wants to sell that. If he wants to donate it, if he wants to okay. keep it, what we're going to be doing with that. So okay. we've got furniture, that we've got we're books. looking at selling or donating, depending yep. on what he wants. Figure out what he wants done with some of his personal property. Yeah, he's got paperwork. He's got a lot of paperwork I'm noticing, so I want to make sure we are either disposing of that or getting it to him. Yep. You know. Yep. So I would categorize it as personal property. Yes. Paperwork, just paperwork mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. All right, let's see what we got going on in the kitchen. Okay. We have a lot of pictures. So once again, yeah, we're gonna to wanna to find out what's going on with the pictures. Um, yeah, he has all of his dishes are still here. So we're gonna to wanna to find out what he wants to do with all of his dishes and silverware and hardware and all of his kitchen stuff. There, yeah, there's a lot of kitchen items, although like the refrigerator looks like it's been cleaned out. Yep, I did clean that out. So, um, but I did notice that there are some things in the pantry, some food. Yeah, he's got food. So, well, most of the food's just going to end up get thrown getting away. thrown away. We'll yeah. Talk to him about okay. that as well. And then we're going to have to find out what we did with the dish, the washer and the dryer. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember if it's conveying with the, the sale or not. So we'll just have to confirm that. Okay. Okay, there's a few things out in the garage. Yep. A few tools, like you said. Yep, he's got ladders and a dolly and yard equipment stuff. Yeah, a few, okay. Not a lot. No. Not a lot. I, I was, okay. You were thinking of a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I was thinking there was more than this when yeah. I had looked. All right, why don't we go upstairs and check out what we have going on in the bedrooms. Okay. All right, so we have some bookcases and stuff in the hallway that we gotta figure out. Okay, and got it. One, and some books. Yep. All right, let's go into his bedroom. Okay, so it looks like he um, got rid of most of his furniture in here, except yeah. for a couple of chairs. I know he uh, donated his bed, I believe. Okay. Okay. Um, so that was taken care of. So okay. he really doesn't have a lot in here. Mm -mm. Just a few big pieces. Yep. And we're also going to have to ask him what he wants to do with all the clothes. Because a lot of the closets still have a lot of clothes in them. Okay. So we need to find Got out it. if he wants that, if he wants to just donate it. Okay. A couple little pieces in there. I think he cleaned out most of this. This is nice and cleaned out. Yeah. So, so that's easy. Messy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. He's got just cleaning products in here, so okay. that's no big deal. Cleaning supplies. Yep. They may need those for the final clean too. Could be. So. 
We yeah. won't have to provide those. All right, let's see what we have going on in the other bedrooms. Okay. Yeah, so this was the office. Once again, we have a book cabinet. We have a safe. And a lot of paperwork. Lots of paperwork. Okay. Right. Got it. Yeah, lots of personal property stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then we have one more bedroom and another bath. All right, so obviously okay. we have a bed. Yes. So we need to ask him what he wants to do with the bed. Mm -hmm. Nightstand. There's yep. a dresser behind dresser. you. It's empty. I did check the dresser, so there's nothing in it. All right. He also has um, a bunch of clothing in there too, yep. and some more personal belongings. Yep. More paperwork, so. more clothes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, more cleaning yeah, supplies. Yep. Okay. So and just, just a few little items. Yep. Just that's a few, easy. couple little, few little items okay. that need to be taken care of. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. We went through the house, so we've got a pretty good list there. So once again, we've got some furniture mm -hmm. that have value to it. There's a lot of items on here that have value, so we really need to find out what he'd like to do with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a lot of just personal property stuff that we need to figure out as well. Um, with things that we're gonna sell, we're probably bringing in, I, I, have, a, I have a feeling that he's gonna want us to bring in an estate company. Mm -hmm. To yeah. go ahead and, and sell it for him. Um, and then after everything is cleaned out of the house, we're going to have to talk to him about bringing a cleaning crew in yeah. and clean this place up. Yes. Because uh, once again, when we hand over a uh, product like a house, we want to make sure it's nice and clean for the new buyers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally we don't want to. We don't want to hand over a dirty house. No. That's not what we're about. So, anyways. Um, We'll get it taken care of. We'll move forward with it. And uh, once again, that's just kind of one of the things that we do here yeah. in the, our local area and our local community. So um, not every deal is the same. And sometimes we have to go the extra mile in order to sell a property and take care of our clients. Take care of our client, most if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to us. We're right here in Cherokee County, uh, Townsend Realty Group. We work in the Woodstock. Canton. Georgia, Canton, Ball Ground, Waleska, that's kind of our sweet spot. And then we also take care of just about anything in the North Atlanta market area as well. So thanks for listening. And uh, we'll, we might end up doing a follow-up video on this just to kind of show you the progress that we're making as we're working with this client. Hope everybody's having a great day. And subscribe. To and subscribe. Along. All right, thanks.